In the depths of the universe, the creation of Earth has been a subject of fascination for scientists and researchers for centuries. Many theories have been proposed, but the most widely accepted explanation of how Earth formed is through the process of accretion, which began around 4.6 billion years ago. Accretion refers to the gradual accumulation of matter through the force of gravity. In the early stages of the solar system's formation, a large cloud of gas and dust existed. This cloud began to contract due to its own gravitational attraction, causing it to spin and flatten into a disk. This disk eventually became the protoplanetary disk from which the planets of our solar system emerged. As the disk continued to shrink and spin, pockets of denser material began to form. These pockets eventually grew large enough to become protoplanets or planetary embryos. Over time, these protoplanets collided and merged with one another, eventually forming the larger planets that we know today. Earth, being one of these protoplanets, continued to grow through the accretion process. As it grew, its gravitational force became stronger, allowing it to capture more and more material from the surrounding disk. Eventually, Earth grew to a size large enough to create its own gravitational pull, which caused it to become rounded into a sphere. During this period of accretion, Earth was bombarded by a multitude of asteroids and comets. These impacts caused significant damage to the planet's surface, melting and fracturing the young Earth's crust. However, these impacts also brought valuable resources to the planet, including water and organic compounds that would eventually contribute to the development of life. As the Earth continued to grow and develop, its internal heat increased. This heat was generated by the collision of the various materials that made up the planet, as well as the decay of radioactive elements within the planet's core. This heat caused the Earth to differentiate into distinct layers, with the densest materials sinking to the center to form the planet's core, while lighter materials rose to the surface to form the crust. The planet's atmosphere also began to form during this time, as gases trapped within the accreting material were released and gathered around the planet. Early Earth's atmosphere was likely composed of water vapor, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and other gases. Over time, the release of gases from volcanic activity and the development of life would change the composition of Earth's atmosphere. The process of accretion continued for millions of years until Earth reached its current size and shape. Over time, the planet's surface cooled and solidified, allowing the first life forms to develop in the oceans. The early Earth was a violent and unstable place, but through the process of accretion and the evolution of life, it has become the diverse and complex planet that we call home today. In conclusion, the formation of Earth in the depths of the universe is a complex and fascinating process. Through the force of gravity and the process of accretion, our planet was born from a cloud of gas and dust that existed billions of years ago. The process of accretion allowed Earth to grow and develop over time, forming distinct layers and eventually creating an atmosphere that could support life. Today, Earth remains a dynamic and ever-changing planet, and we continue to learn more about its origins and evolution through ongoing research and exploration.